Hey, what's going on, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know I haven't been making a lot of tutorials lately because it's just been a crazy past couple of weeks with NAB going on. I'm getting access to Wonder Studio, Unrecord, just so much going on. But in this video right here, I'm going to teach you how you can create a simple car racing game in Unreal Engine for Fortnite or Fortnite Creative 2.0. Now, you can make this in a whole bunch of ways, like using Verse or anything like that. But for me, I just took a simple approach, and that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So here's what we're going to be creating. So I'll press... Uh, uh, start game right now. I'm gonna have a countdown here, about eight seconds, just you know, people can talk trash. And then off to the races we go. It's really, really fun creating stuff here. And unfortunately, I can't publish any maps yet because I didn't play a lot of Fortnite. And I think you have to play like 90 days of Fortnite before you can publish maps. But at least I can teach y'all how to do things and y'all can publish stuff, which is still fun. Here we go finishing up here now i did two laps you're gonna see we're gonna go around and obviously i don't have a player with me so he's just standing still there Whee! i did make the road a little slippery so my driving is terrible right now Maybe use some boost pretty nice All right, here we go. And this should exit out right when we finish. There you go. We finished the game. All right, so here we are in UEFN. Same map. I just deleted everything so we can kind of start from scratch. And we can start dropping some stuff in here, okay? So we have this error right here. Now, the first thing we're going to create is an island settings. Now, usually whenever you create a project or a new template, it's already going to have an island settings for you. But at the same time, I'll go ahead and show you where you can create that again from scratch. So if you go to Fortnite right here, and if you go to the devices and just type in island setting, you can drag and drop that to your scene. Make this up here. Press G if you're not seeing that icon. And think about, think of the island settings as your game options, all right? Like rules for your games, pretty much. So it has a lot of options you can kind of mess around with. If you go to the right side in the details panel, you're going to see there's so much stuff in here that you can tweak. But for the sake of the car race video, it's just going to be a lot simpler. So voice chat team is fine. Max players, we're going to have two for now. So we're free for all is fine. That's okay. Team size dynamic. I'm not going to do any classes or anything like that. Honestly, I don't need to change anything else in here. I'm not going to change the time of day or anything like that. It's fine. And the next thing we're going to be taking a look at is a timer device. Basically, what this is going to do is countdown, right? We're going to do set it to... So I'll scroll up here and I'll set it to 10 seconds. It's going to be a countdown. And we're going to say start at game start. What this is going to do is count down 10 to 0 and then start the game. All right. I'm not going to set anything here. I think it's good to go. The next thing we're going to create is a race manager device. Just like so. Go up. And in here, I'm going to uncheck start race on game start. We can only do one lap for now. And you can name this if you want. JS Films, the circuit name. And we want to start the race. If you click right here. Whenever this timer succeeds, and that's what's beautiful about UEFN, because the Epic Games people, people who worked on this right here, they created such complex blueprints, but made it so that it's so easy to use for people like us, or for people who are not game developers, uh, realistically, because honestly, with just two clicks of a button, we connected two blueprints together. Again, could be very complex if you don't know what you're doing. And that's why this thing is so powerful. So basically what that says is once this countdown is over, the game is going to start, right? Which is which is awesome, which is what we want, all right? So that's that. The next thing we're going to create are some player spawner, obviously. So we're going to have a player spawner right now. Let's we'll drag and drop it right here. Press E, I'll rotate it so that it's facing the correct way. Uh, you can hide this if you want by just going to visible right here. All right, you can uncheck that if you want, but for the sake of this video, I'll, I'll leave that on. Uh, we're going to need a car spawner. Again, these are complex blueprints that they are just really, we're just, that we're really just dragging and dropping on the scene, right? So here we go. Just kind of make sure that it's level. 
Press W, just lift it off the ground, it's fine. And while the car is selected, I'm gonna go to the details panel, scroll all the way down, and we're gonna say assign a driver, again, click and drop player spawner on player spawn. So when this player spawns, it's going to automatically go inside the car because it is a car race anyway. So here we go, car's good to go. I'm not gonna have any fuel consumption. If you wanna tweak that, if you want people to run out of gas, you can do that as well for your game. But this one is a simple, really just a circle for this tutorial. And I'm just gonna rotate this so that it's facing it correctly. Next one, we're going to create our checkpoints for our race. So I'm gonna say checkpoint. And I'm going to set this around our track. So I'm just gonna hold alt and drag to duplicate that. Now, whenever you're creating your checkpoints, you want to add it. I'm gonna do a couple of it and just, just to show you. You wanna add it as close as possible so that people won't cheat. Like if I were to put one right here, people can just go across the water if you don't have any collisions in there and pretty much take a shortcut. So you pretty much wanna guide your players on your track so they can't cheat. You know, it's the internet, people are going to cheat. So for that, I'm gonna set one right here. Again, you can create more if you want to set right here additionally if you want to make it bigger you can we can scale this all up later in a second i'll rotate it here and again you don't have to do this in uefn you can do this in fortnite creative as well but since i am so much more used to the unreal engine editor i can easily do this in here versus the fortnite creative portion to me, it's a little bit faster. I, walk, uh, I work a little bit faster in here. All right, so we have this right here. And I'm going to set one more. And we'll call it a day. So I'm now going to go to the search and search for all the checkpoints. Because I want to scale these to like maybe 1.2. So that they're a little bit bigger. Additionally, I'm going to set their checkpoint numbers. So we have the first one right here. I'm going to set this one to 2. Set this one to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then ten. What I'll do is actually I will actually duplicate the tenth one because I want the race to finish close to where they started. Okay, so I'm just going to overlap these two. Just like so. It's totally fine. And now I'm going to set this checkpoint to 11. And that's going to change that to the finish line. So I'll save it for now. And again, there is a bug in here, I believe. So what I'll do is I'll select all my checkpoints. And for the visible prior to race start, I'm going to say yes. If I don't select that to yes, I am not going to be able to see the checkpoint nor go through them. Okay, I believe that's a bug. So I'll just pretty much do what I did and you should be good to go. So we have the race start. And what we'll do next is create an end game device. I'll drag and drop it again. And what we'll do is we'll go to the right side, scroll all the way down. And we want to activate this end game device whenever the player crosses the 11th checkpoint, which is this one right here. So again, I'll just move it back so I can see it better. So activate the end game device when the player when the player crosses checkpoint 11. Next, what we're going to create are barriers so that the player can't move front and back. We're going to have them stuck in a place. So we'll search for barrier device. Now you can put the player inside this box, but I am having issues with collision. So what I ended up doing was is unchecking the scale. And I'm just going to scale this up to be very, very thin. Remember, like, to three or so. And I'm going to put that as close to the car as possible. And we're just kind of making this... We're just setting this up to be perfect. Additionally, what I'm going to do is I want to have this barrier disable when the race starts. I want to disable this barrier when the game starts. On race on race started by manager all right so we want to drop that barrier and then what i'll do is i'll duplicate this so that they really can't move just like so now you can create some on the left and right side as well but i do have a collision setup 
around the track so that they can't go past uh, past the track on the sides. And that's pretty tight right there. I don't think our car is going to be able to really go anywhere with that setup. So that's good. And let's just review our settings real quick. And in the player spawn, we have player team index one for this one. So if you have another one in here, you can set it to player two. If you have two players, and we have the activating team, team index two, if you want that to be the second team, totally fine. Again, we're not going to mess around with this too much. And then for the player spawn, we have to create another one for the second player. So this is player two. Okay, and I'm going to go back to my second car here. And we're going to select second player to spawn there. All right, so we have two players in this race. This one is going to spawn here. This one is going to spawn here. So what we'll do is I'll post the changes and see if we can do a test play. Okay, so it looks like our game is starting, which is always good. Okay, here we go. There you go. We spawned in the car, which is good. Two, one. Okay, barriers drop. That's good. We're seeing our checkpoints. That's good. Everything is wor working perfectly. Our boost is working. Perfect. Driving is not too bad right now. Here's our last checkpoint, 10 and then 11. This is going to finish the actual game. Ta-da, done. That's very nice. It worked perfectly. Yay! So I'm gonna tab out here because what I want to do is disable the floor where the cars are coming from because you don't want that showing up. So I'll turn this off to visible so that it is not on our way. And you know, you can just move the car down and that would pretty much take care of that. Now obviously you can probably make our car racing game in UEFN or Fortnite Grave 2.0 like a million different ways using verse or whatever. But this is, I think to me, was the simplest way on getting this done. But that being said, that's pretty much it for this video. If you want to check out more UEFN Fortnite Grave 2.0 tutorials from me, I did create an entire playlist. I will put the link in the description below in the top left corner of this video right here. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.